Okay. If I can see it there. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we're designing a new subwoofer for Tarrant County Maker Space. It's going to have one 8 inch woofer and two 10 inch passive radios, two of these. And I'm going to explain the magic of resonance and why passive radiators work to enhance the bass output. It's the alternative to the familiar bass reflex port, which is usually a hole in a box with a pipe. The thing with passive radiator is you get much better performance than a bass reflex port. It's the equivalent of this diameter of port and one that's, that has a very long pipeline. I mean, so long it would be impractical to put into an enclosure. But that's the kind of size that you need in port to get the kind of performance you can get out of this. This is just much more compact, okay. relatively speaking. Nice. So how does this work? Well, at first you would think with a port or a passive radiator in an enclosure that the driver moves into the enclosure and pushes the passive radiator out or that it pushes air out of the base reflex port. Well, that's not true in its operating frequency. It's true if you have a very low, very like one hertz, two hertz, four, like four cycles per second, then it's more like a pump. Yeah, that's gonna happen, but you're not listening to sound at that range. When you're in the range that you're listening to, you get the magic presence. So actually, the passive radiator's diaphragm and the driver diaphragm are working together. They're both moving out to the, the airspace and into the enclosure uh, almost simultaneously. It's so fast that any little lag time in it, you can't even tell. It's, it's, it's milliseconds, it's like one or two cycles of, of a wave. If, you, if you're talking about a, a 32 hertz, uh, tuning frequency, which we're trying to achieve, that's 32 cycles per second. Uh, the difference in the motion of the passive radiator is behind by only like one of those cycles, so you can't even tell by listening to it. Mm. The reason this works is because two things. Sound takes time to travel. It's super fast, but it's not instantaneous. And another thing is the passive radiator has inertia. This diaphragm and the the heavy mass that we're going to load on the back to give it its tuning frequency, like anything that's any mass, it rest, tends to stay at rest. So it takes a little bit of time to accelerate. It's super fast, so you can't tell in operation, but it's there. So that little delay is going to get this thing going just in time for the next cycle. It takes about two cycles for it to work up, but then it's going to be moving in conjunction with the driver and giving you what I call acoustic leverage. So you have an eight inch driver that is going to be able to move as much air as two 10 inch passive radiators through this leverage. They're gonna be sharing this enclosure, which you can see this is about uh, two feet tall that's about a foot wide, about 16 inches deep. So those two big holes, those are going to be the two 10-inch passive radiators. And then the 8-inch driver is down inside there. It's going to face down, and it's going to fire out the bottom. So that driver and those two passive radiators are sharing this otherwise sealed volume of air inside there, and using the magic of resonance to push more air than just the driver itself. You have this surface area and whatever excursion that you do, that's a volume of air that you can move. If you increase the diameter of your surface area and the amount of excursion, this is going to be able to move more air. And we're going to have two of them. So what happens in that sealed volume of air is because they're working together, the passive radiators create some, some back pressure on the driver. So it's, it's like it's resistance in a way. The driver will not move as far, but it will put more force in. And if you have enough electrical power going into it, 
you can get back to the full excursion of your driver. It'll be putting more force in than it would by itself without the passive radiators. But you'll be able to move more air than this by itself. That's the magic of resonance. And hopefully we're going to shake the place up a little bit here. Yeah. So essentially like that one 8 inch is going to be like giving an effective power of what someone else might be used to of two or three bigger speakers. Two ten inch. Yeah, so 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 one eight inch is going to be doing the work of over twenty inches of subwoofer size, as yeah. well as yeah, that's going to be so cool. So something that size would otherwise be seen, you know, taking up a full size of a trunk, and we're going to have two of those as either standing or possibly hanging speakers. That we, we're probably going to put either right where that sign is. Or uh, maybe we'll do it up top here, or something like that. But uh, yeah, this should this should sound really really cool. What do you think, Aaron? Are you excited to have a loud sound system in here? You like loud sound systems? Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I we think got so. the, we got the material already. And just p pick up that eight inch again. Just uh, I just want to show how much effort it goes to pick that. Th that thing must weigh at least thirty pounds. Maybe. Yeah, that thing is pretty heavy. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is going to be neat. Um, yeah, this started from me bringing in uh, this this old sub box I made when I was 19 with, uh, where's that subwoofer? It's chilling in the back right there. It had a little 15 in it. And uh, yeah, Bill, Bill being such an expert with, with knowing subwoofers and designing boxes, he was like, yeah, this box isn't going to cut it. And, you know, honestly, if we just used one of these new designs and, and, a, better, and a better sub, we can get a lot more out of it. So it's like, yeah, of course, let's... Let's get more out of it. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna add to it. We're gonna have a uh, six by nine uh, in the corner, and then another two in the back. So it should be a six-speaker system, surround sound with some really loud subs. Um, yeah, it's gonna be impressive. And then we'll throw a party. <laughs> Thanks, guys.